Hello again. Welcome to another class. Today I'm going to be discussing the purpose of God's creation. The reason why God created everything that he created. Okay. Let's go. So, first of all, let's just talk about the creation of humankind. So, humankind refers to all groups of people created by God. All groups of people created by God, they are all referred to as humankind. So, humankind could be males and females. We are made up of males and females. Okay. So, God created mankind to purposely worship Him and care for the environment that He has created. All the tribes on earth makes up the humankind. All the tribes on earth makes up humankind. So, according to the three main religions in Ghana, they all have different stories to tell when it comes to creation. So, they all have their individual creation stories. They all have, they all have a, a way of how they think that the, the universe was created. Okay, so creation is the act of making something that did not exist before. When you create something that did not exist before, it is termed as creation. Man or human being has the power to create new things out of what already existed. Human being can create things out of what already existed. It is only God who can create something totally new. It is God who can create something that is absolutely new without using anything that God already exists. This is why it is believed that God or Allah is the supreme being. So stories from the three main religions in Ghana, that is the Christian religion, the Islamic religion, and then the traditional religion, explain that God created the world and all the things in it from the words of his mouth. From the words of his mouth. Okay, so he spoke and all the things that exist came into existence. He spoke and all came into existence. Things created by God are called natural things. Things created by God are called natural things. And things created by humankind are called artificial things. Things created by humankind are called artificial things. Okay. So let us take a look at some of the things created by God. On my left, you could see that there are animals both flying and walking animals. You can see rocks. You can see water bodies. These are all examples of things that are created by God. On my right too, you can see plants, different types of plants. Okay, they are, they are all things created by God. All right, so in our next lesson, we are going to take the religions one after the other and then discuss what they think or their stories concerning creation. Okay, so we are going to end here and then we'll continue some other time. Thank you for watching. Bye.